hi, I saw your service dog on your page. He's so cute. Hi, thank you so much. How much for him? I think you might be confusing me for someone else. My dog is not for sale. <laughs> no, I'm on the right account. My son is seven years old and was diagnosed last year and his blood sugars are all over the place. I need a dog to tell him sugars because I work a lot. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my dog is not for sale. He's my dog. If you want, I could help provide information on where you could get a service dog for your son. But I want your dog. His blue eyes are gorgeous and he's already trained. What the f I don't know how many times this person has to reiterate that their dog is not for sale. You can't just be like, hey, I like your dog. I'm gonna buy it. Nope, that's my dog. Thanks though. During this pandemic, only people with kids should be able to watch any streaming service and nothing for the people who are alone and single. Families need Netflix or Disney Plus more. It's annoying to see a grown single adult sharing what they are watching on Disney Plus when that streaming service was made only for kids. I have three little ones at home and another on the way. We deserve this service over single and alones with no kids. I feel personally attacked because I am one of the adults that watch Disney Plus all the time. I'm just wondering, um, who told you Disney Plus was just for kids? Cause they actually have a section that's for kids because they have adult content on there. Just saying, you should check out the star, Disney Plus star section. Like literally adult movies that kids should not be watching, but okay. This is the dumbest thing I've ever read. If you can't find a way to keep your kids entertained at home besides just Netflix, that's you problem. You're allowed to be childless, but the government should take 80% of your income so that others that have children can ensure a better education and welfare for their own. Children are the future. If you refuse to have one, you shouldn't have any say on what the future should look like. What, LOL, 80% of child-free people's income? You must be high. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You are on something. How dare you try to tell people that they have to have kids and that the future, you only have a say about the future if you have children. And a lot of people can't even have kids, just so you know. So, I don't get it. What is with all these this children crap? They're just taking shots at us, people without children. What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am Sassy and today we are checking out some entitled people who should stay off social media part three. That means there's a lot of entitled people because I'm already on part three. We got some sassy people on the internet, but not the good sassy. This lady using bread as knee pads while she looks at other bread. Well, I hope she's buying those three also because they're smushed. They're literally smushed. <laughs> you can see her knee imprints in the ones on the ground. What are you doing? Like ask for assistance if you need help. Don't, oh God, she damaged the product. She has to buy them now. I worked at Forever 21 as a cashier and I guess the customer I rang up was an IG baddie because a few people recognized her, but I didn't. And when I checked her out, she was like, this line is so long, do you know who I am? And I said, no, sorry. And then her card was declined for $1.35. Okay, ah, what is $1.35 at Forever 21? I feel like the story is a little bit exaggerated maybe because I've been to Forever 21. I love Forever 21. Nothing was ever $1.35. Like not even a hair clip or a lip gloss. But let's pretend the story is true and it was $1.35. That's embarrassing. I like can't imagine doing the, do you know who I am? No, clearly I don't and I don't care. Earring prices. Hello, I am writing to you because I am concerned about your earring prices. I understand it is handmade, but $20 is a bit much when I can get more at Target or Kohl's. Is there any way we can discuss pricing? Go to Target or Kohl's then, end of discussion. Absolutely, like I understand that when you're supporting small businesses, like yeah, $20 for a pair of earrings, it's like I can go to our dens and get three packs for 10 bucks. Absolutely, but you're supporting a small business. They have to buy the product, they have to spend the time making it, they have to buy the packaging, they have to probably ship it, they have to pay for all that. So really your $20 probably doesn't cover a lot of it. Like they're probably, they could be making $3 off of that. Anyways, rant over, support small business or don't, and don't complain about it, go to Target or Kohl's. I went to a small business for this. 
they had them on Amazon. And I was like, no, I'm gonna support a small business. And she handmade me that. And I paid her like triple the amount of what Amazon is, but because I wanted to support a small local business here in Toronto. I just want a boyfriend that will be giving me 70% of his daily income. But your Twitter name is Miss Independent. <laughs> I can't see your Twitter name, but that makes everything like 10 times worse. First of all, even if you're not independent, whatever, 70% of their daily income, I don't even want 10% of my boyfriend's income. He works very hard for that. I work hard for my money. We both work hard for our money. Client, I know people who charge less. I have clients who pay more. Ooh, bomb facts. Great, if you know people who charge less, why are you coming to me? Go to them. Hey everyone, it's my son's 10th birthday next week and I haven't got a pot to piss in. Any donations would be greatly appreciated. P.S. He only wears Nike. 10 year old wearing Nike? I don't think I owned Nike until I was like 19 or 20 and it was because I got a pair of Nikes from Winners as a gift. Y'all be tripping if you're 10 year olds in Nikes. Oh my God, he's 10, he's gonna destroy those. My kid's getting Walmart brand if I ever have kids. Walmart brands. I know what kids do. I work with children for years. They destroy shoes. They don't know the value of Nike. Someone wrote, no need for this. Grow up for F sake. <laughs> so embarrassing. Like I feel bad if you're struggling, but I mean, you're just, no. Not the way to go about it. Looking for small cat, dog, nothing big. What is that, a dog, dog. Don't have any money to pay for one as I would need to get shots and meds. You're asking for a free dog? Check animal control and adopt for like 150. Neutering and shots included. Also consider not taking on the ongoing financial responsibility of an animal who depends on you if you can't even afford its basic medical needs. Hashtag facts. That could not be more true and such a good point. If you can't afford the dog, the dog itself and it shots, you probably shouldn't get a dog because they need you. They need food, they need supplies. If anything were to happen to them, you've gotta have some kind of money for medical bills. Not good. Although you should adopt, honestly, they are cheaper and you get to adopt a little babies and save them and give them a home. I really want to adopt a dog next. I say next, like when my dog goes. Ooh, a car for $1,200, $19.99 Camry. 60 dollars are you serious 60 dollars for a car they gotta be kidding like this was followed up with just kidding what the absolute hell 60 dollars that's not even a tank of gas for the car i would block these people from my page so fast you don't understand why they won't give you access to something they pay for for their own personal use okay so someone wrote i don't understand why do people not like sharing their netflix passwords it's not like you pay per watch Mmm, so someone replied, you don't understand why they won't give you access to something they pay for, literally though. Like I pay for that service. I mean, I share my Netflix with my sister. <laughs> I don't care, cause I'm gonna pay for it no matter what, I might as well spread the wealth, you know? It's like I'm paying the $8, so like who else wants in? Who cares? If it was more expensive though, it'd be like, let's all split. But no one owes you their Netflix password. Dating me equals $1,100 a month. What the? F Rent, 300. My nails, one. 100, my hair 100 take me shopping at least 300 utilities 200 spending money 100 if you date me my bills are a package deal either you support me or gtfo i can confidently assume that people just gtfo'd on this this is not a deal at all this is a nightmare this is why girls get called crazy all right guys well those are some entitled people i can just not handle it it's getting real annoying over here all right but if you want to see part four leave a like on this video before i get out of here i'm doing today's shout out today's sassy shout out goes to marlena floyd they said love your nails chick hope you're having a good day i hope you're having a good day too my day is good so far fully vaxxed oh baby waiting for those gnarly symptoms that are probably gonna come as for the nails i did them myself so thank you this one um broke off all right guys i'm getting out of here stay safe out there stay classy and stay sassy bye I just got my second vaccination. So I'm drinking Gatorade because I heard the Moderna second dose really messes with you and you get a flu for two days and fever, so. My camera's being weird. <clears throat> oh my God. Why is this lighting it's so dark? Why is this happening to my camera recently? My fingers went all wonky there. I looked like a freaking chicken hand. <laughs> This actually looks like a 
and chicken in. 12. Oh, I've got burps. That's it. Let's do a shout out. Move out of my way. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.